This is our top editor bar. On the left, you can see the name of the selected file. And I just want to point out that the file name is different from the project name up here. And over here are your buttons to undo and redo changes. This is your image icon. You can select it and choose photos, textures, gradients, or miscellaneous images to add to your project. Simply left click on the image you want and the image will appear in the sidebar. Now, let's say that I wanted to add a list right here, but I didn't know how to do it. No worries, I can go over here to the snippet button dialog and use any of the provided syntax and insert it into my code. Just make sure you're on the same language as your file. For example, if I was using a JavaScript file, I want to make sure that I click JS over here, but I'm not. I'm using an HTML. So I'm going to click over here and then go to ordered list and select insert. And then now I can see I have a list. And over here is our gear icon. If you select it, you can change the settings for theme, font size, wrap long lines, show white space, auto close tags, and auto save. To explore these options more in depth, make sure you check out our settings video tutorial.